Hello there, puzzle friends again. We are here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. Today we have a small, I don't know if you, if you got it a hole, if you compare it with the other ones that I have, but let's say a small hole. There are not so many puzzles today, but still there are some interesting ones. Let's see right from the start what do we have. Uh, interesting ones when it comes to theme and when it comes to new brands. Here is, uh, for example, a theme. It's called Pride and Judgment from the Jace Austin puzzle, 1000 pieces. So it's a puzzle from, uh, from literature. You see here the details. I haven't actually read the book, but I found the story of this puzzle combining a, a, a book. Maybe I listen it to, as an audiobook when I puzzle this. I have also already done that in other puzzles and it was a, quite an interesting idea. Uh, yes, so it's an interesting one. It's the brand Potter Puzzles. It's a, it's a new brand for me. I'm not quite familiar with it. But I'm happy to have it. The box is somewhat smaller. It's a little bit heavier. Maybe the pieces are somewhat thicker. We will see when we puzzle it. So let's put that aside. And let's go to the next one. As I said, these jigsaw puzzles are somewhat special. Um, this one is called In 50 Bäumen um die Welt. This is of Deutsch. This is in German. Uh, they exist also in English, but uh, it was not um, deliverable very quick, so I decided to buy this one, although until I get to it, the English one will probably also be deliverable. Well, then again, I do understand Deutsch, I do understand German, so that's not a problem for me. It comes also with a small um, poster where the, some details are. On what is here depicted, uh, the picture actually, ah, the picture is actually like this. It's a quite an interesting picture, and if you know me, I'm very keen. I love trees, so a jigsaw puzzle that combines trees. I had to have it. I had to have it. Uh, you also, they say they have uh, with. Um, um, I now forget the word, with plants. I may also buy that one in time. There also exists a, a book that has the same title and this is inspired actually from the book. I don't have the book yet, but uh, I may also buy this one. Since I really like the idea traveling around the world, so to say, in 50 trees or in 50 plants or was it in 80 plants in 80 trees in 80 plants probably inspired from Jules Verne in 80 days uh, this one is from Jumbo also nothing special special it's a very good brand about nothing out of the ordinary let's say about the brand uh, it's from Anton Peck I hope I say the name the name British the name right Anton Pieck. Uh, I do have two or three themes I, I believe from him. Uh, the other ones I have, they are four pictures depicting four different things. The four seasons, the four, four um, types of bakery, I don't remember exactly. This one is somewhat different. I really like this, his artwork and this one is about fairy tales. And I'm also keen about fairy tales. Well, so again, a combination, a win-win combination. <laughs> so, uh, again from Jumbo, here they also say Eftelink. I do believe that was also the name of the puzzle. Not actually quite sure what that means. And then we go to a Ravensburger. So, again, nothing out of the ordinary about the brand. This one is uh, a jigsaw puzzle with pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, I found the idea quite interesting. I'm not very into this uh, 
trans nicht nur transparent. These gradient puzzles, which are very uh, keen, the, some uh, YouTube followers are very keen on the internet, or some Instagrammers are very keen on the internet. This one is somewhat of a gradient, but I find it that it has something more. It's more interesting than only the colors. So it doesn't state that it's an impossible puzzle or something like this, but I don't expect it to be very much more easier. I have made a terrible grammar mistake there. I don't expect it to be, to be easier than the other ones, the other greater ones, gradient ones. And that comes to because I'm not that type of puzzler, let's say, that immediately sees, ah, this is the same color as this one. I do need some time to find this out. And then we go further. We have something in a triangle box. Well, the box looks interesting, but it's somewhat stupid when you have so many puzzles as I have when it comes to storage. Uh, it's a picture of a girl. It's called Insta Girls Life. I do believe that it was also f earlier out with a, a pinup girl or something like this. This one is 1000 pieces because I believe the older one was 1500 pieces. I found it quite interesting, quite sexy, so to say. So I said, well, let's go for it, and I did buy it. Made in the Czech Republic, that's something interesting. Uh, the Heye brand is actually from Germany, from Munich, Germany. But they probably have some uh, uh, work or maybe a factory or something like this in the Czech Republic. And we have two more, which are still in the box. I haven't seen them yet. From Cloudberries, also a brand that's very successful on the media. I have, uh, I do believe, one jigsaw puzzle from them, but I haven't puzzled any of them, but I'm very keen to puzzle them. This one was a skyline. Uh, the problem, so to say, problem with the Cloudberries, uh, they have uh, many interesting pictures, but they were not to my taste, so to say. This one is somewhat of a classic. And I found it very interesting. It says uh, Skyline, the title. Uh, these are some buildings in Shanghai. I don't know if all of them are in Shanghai. And these boats do remind me of the boats they have in Hong Kong. Also, they also may be in Shanghai. So I did find that very interesting. They state that this is a very difficult puzzle. We will see when we get to it. It doesn't seem... Um, it doesn't seem the impossible puzzle something like this well it's quite dark so it would be not the easier one to make but then again it's something that you can probably make this one i find more interesting and it may be it looks that's a lot of happening here it's called crossroads again 1000 pieces here it says yeah it, uh, it's um, from a city. They have also one that's 2,000 pieces, but I didn't really like that one that much because of the perspective. I like this one more. And this one um, reminds me somewhat of the PC games of uh, the 90s, something like SimCity vibes, so to say. And I said, yes, let's buy it. And we remember the good times that we had at that time with our computer. So, that was it for today. As I said, not so much puzzles as the other times, but still, I find them, all of them, and the triangle one, all of them somewhat interesting. Uh, I'm very happy to have them, very excited. And um, I really love this tree puzzle. I may do this one from this patch first, but we will see. As I have already said in other videos, I do have many puzzles waiting for me. And it's somewhat struggle. <laughs> what should I puzzle as, um, as first? 
But what are the jigsaw puzzles for today? I do hope you like them. If you do have them or if you would like to buy them or feel free to tell me in the comments what do you think about them. That's it from me for today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Until next time, stay safe. Until next time, goodbye.